As a homemaker, I am in the kitchen quite often, and today I thought I would share with you almost an entire day of being in the kitchen, getting some tasks done that needed to get done, um, just even things that I had procrastinated for over a year. And so I just thought I would share what I get to do with you and um, just encourage you as a homemaker in whatever facet of homemaking you enjoy or you need to get done. And so, um, yeah, I just hope you enjoy coming along and sharing my day in the kitchen. So what I am doing here is I had a giant like 10 pound piece of teriyaki beef that was given to us actually and I thought it was a whole chunk because I was going to make um, beef jerky but it was already chunked up for me and so you know the little surprises in life that make things so much more convenient and easy are such a blessing this task took oh probably two hours instead of I was thinking it would take probably five to six hours um, to do and so what a blessing to be able to already have this meat chunked I just used the longer thinner pieces to make the jerky and end up freezing the other parts to make oh probably stuff like um, stir fries or some other type of dish The dehydrator we borrowed from some friends and that's just so nice to to be able to share tools and equipment of other people's and vice versa so um, for the dehydrating I put it in at 160 degrees for five to six hours and let it do its thing This is a cornflake oats granola that I kind of made up a little bit. Um, it's just something super simple and easy that I like having around to have on yogurt to snack on. Um, pretty nutritious. You could omit the cornflakes if you want to just do all oats, but like two cups of oats, two cups of cornflakes, probably a fourth of a cup flaxseed, a fourth of um, walnuts, and then I made a peanut butter, coconut oil, maple syrup glaze to go on top and I baked it at 325 for about 50 minutes during every 10 minutes and then added some raisins and a few chocolate chips and banana chips so it's really good. I love having granola as a snack and the cornflakes kind of just extend the life of oats to a little bit and they add a nice crunch.
was already about one or two in the afternoon and so I thought it'd be fun to make a little more coffee and use my fun mug here and it's just I enjoy drinking drinks out of fun fun mugs and so that's just kind of a little splurge I had mid-afternoon because that jerky did take quite a bit of the morning so here I am making a um, chocolate cake actually because I'm experimenting for my daughter's birthday with some different cakes that I want to make so I'll link the recipe below for you if you are interested in that and that's one thing I love about homemaking is experimenting and just kind of um, making things your own as well as trying out different recipes that work for you and this doesn't actually have to deal with just in the kitchen this could be throughout the rest of your home rearranging your furniture try it for a week and then move it if you don't like it um, hang a piece of artwork in a different place you know it just homemaking is just something that you have to um, do as trial and error and as long as you are enjoying it and working on it it is um, just something so fun to be able to do and share with yourself or your family your kids your husband whoever you are homemaking for <music> the larger dishes that I had used for the morning and um, wash some new ones of course I do have a dishwasher but some of these items couldn't go in the dishwasher so I decided just to hand wash them and put them away anyways which I do find enjoyable Granola is finished and just putting it in a mason jar after it has cooled completely. I love storing snacks in mason jars. If you haven't seen my top 10 kitchen essentials, this is definitely one of them. And so it just makes storage so easy using mason jars. to my spice cabinet and though this is not baking or cooking this needed to get done I bought these jars off of Amazon I love them um, I'll link them in the description box if I remember for you I just needed to clean it out a little bit refill some of my herbs and spices into the actual canisters um, so I didn't have so much lying around but honestly I decluttered and bought these canisters over two and a half years ago and this drawer is one of my favorites to open and look at because it just um this cover just looks so sleek and nice um just with those matching canisters and jars and so i like having these and keeping my spice cabinet tidy and clean and just used some thrift store little wooden boxes to stack them in tiers so I could see everything, found some Dollar Tree labels, and just really made it um, convenient for what I need to use it for. And that's the thing with being in the kitchen, make things so they work well for you and not the other people. It doesn't have to always look Pinterest worthy, but make it work for you. All right, the jerky is done in the dehydrator. So then I actually put it in the oven at 225, I wanna say, no, 275 
for 10 minutes to um, fully cook it all the way. I was reading up on making jerky because I'd never made it before, actually. Well, it is already time to start supper. The day really does fly when you're on your feet in the kitchen most of the time. I am making a chicken, creamy chicken tortilla soup. I didn't really follow a recipe on this. I experiment a little bit. I enjoy making up recipes, but the problem I run into with that is I often forget to write things down. So for this one, I actually did write my recipe down because my husband told me I should because everybody enjoyed it. Um, and I, to make it creamy, I use coconut milk, actually. I'm sure you can substitute half and half or milk or whatever you wish, but if you're interested, you can ask for it. Otherwise, it's really just something um, I enjoy doing experimenting in the kitchen so to finish off the evening after dishes are done I'm just doing a few little tasks that needed to get done like refilling the hand soap dispenser and just you know making sure that is full and you've heard me say this before I'm going to reset my kitchen for a new day I hope you guys felt inspired by just watching me work in the kitchen, honestly, and that you have a blessed and wonderful day.